Hi everybody and welcome to this week's LEGO Technic video. What I'm going to be presenting today is my attempt at creating a two-speed automatic gearbox car. Now the idea for this video came about from the fact that I've been presenting a lot of different automatic gearbox ideas over the last few weeks and I've had quite a number of viewers say to me, well those gearboxes are all well and good but do they actually work in a real car? So today I will be answering that question for you. So an automatic gearbox that I decided to implement in this car is known as my two-speed smoothly changing automatic gearbox that can be seen built into the car over here. So for the people that haven't seen the video, this is a uh, demonstration version of that gearbox and the way it works is that it's got in here a torque detection mechanism. Once torque is detected, uh, this part will move up and drive a second gear that adds onto a differential to create a secondary gear. So I'll just give you a quick demonstration on that. So we turn it on, set the output turning. As we put torque on the output, we can see that mechanism move up and start driving a second gear. And that second gear through the worm gear passes on through the differential to create a overall second speed. And of course the purpose of the automatic gearbox is to allow you to do something you wouldn't otherwise be able to do. So for example, if you've got a vehicle like this that's been optimized to drive along the flat and then it encounters a hill, it needs more torque to be able to drive up that hill and if the gearbox doesn't have sufficient torque then it won't be able to do that so by switching downwards we can generate more torque on the output and be able to climb that hill that you wouldn't otherwise be able to do now one of the important design parameters for this gearbox of course is choosing the ratio between the first and the secondary gear so if I draw a diagram of the actual overall uh, gearbox implementation we've kind of got an input like this that input goes through a torque detector, I call that TD. The output of that torque detector just gets added onto a differential. Uh, now once that torque detector activates, what it does, it triggers a switch uh, that comes off the main input like this. So it's something like this. And then we've got a secondary path that then subtracts from that differential. We've got adding there, subtraction there, and that gives us our overall output. So this is a simplified diagram, but essentially what it means is that when the torque detector detects some torque, it'll close that switch and then uh, subtract the secondary part from the main part. Now typically, for example, the ratio between here and here might be 1, so we've got an overall gearing ratio of 1 to 1 between input and output uh, when the torque detector switch is not closed, and then when that's closed, a certain amount of uh, speed is subtracted through the differential from the output to give our secondary gear. So the big question is what should that overall secondary path be to give us our secondary gear? Well I don't have the answer to that question so what I've done instead is to implement a manual gearbox. This is a four speed manual gearbox and it allows me to set the secondary path of the automatic gearbox to uh, a number of different uh, gearing ratios. Obviously being a four speed manual gearbox over here it gives us four different potential options and if you do the maths and go through all the possible gearing options that you can select with that secondary selector what we get is the first one being 0 0.865 that's quite a uh, high gearing ratio then we've got 0 0.775 we have got 0 0.795 five nine five and finally the lowest gearing ratio of 3.25 just looking at these this is about five sixths this is about 75 percent or three quarters this is about three fifths and this is about a third so by having these four different options that can be set manually what i can do i can uh, test the different settings and try to find out the best secondary gear for that automatic gearbox to be able to do what we need to do Alright, let's run the experiment. So what I've done is I've inserted this lift arm to prevent the gearbox from switching from the first gear to the second gear and this will allow us to create a baseline for the test. Also what I've got is on the right here is a ramp. This ramp's at about 40 degrees and we're going to try and see if the car can get up the ramp in first gear. Alright, let's go. And it gets stuck. Go back. Go forward again, bit of a run up. You can see, and just in first gear, the car is unable to get up the ramp. Okay, so what I've done now is we've removed that lift arm that enables the automatic gearbox to switch from gear one to gear two. I've also set the selector such that the overall gearing ratio for gear two is 0.33 compared to an overall gearing ratio of one 
uh, for the first gear so that should give us enough torque to go up the hill once we change gears uh, so there, yeah let's try it and we're driving set switch gear and oh it doesn't go up the ramp let's try that again you can see the gearbox switching from one to two as soon as we hit the ramp however it seems to be unable to climb the ramp in fact it seems to be doing worse than just being in first gear well that was disappointing the fact that this car could not get up the ramp even in the second gear where the gearing ratio was a lot lower uh, i've looked into the reasons why but first of all what i've done is actually designed the car to prove that it is actually possible um, at some point i wasn't exactly convinced that uh, a second gear would actually work so this particular car here it's very similar, uh, the only difference being that it's got a manual gearbox. If I put this manual gearbox in the first gear and try the same experiment, we see like that, the car doesn't get up the ramp. If, however, we switch to a much lower gear, like this, then the car goes up the ramp just fine. So why did the manual gearbox car make up the hill and the automatic gearbox car didn't? Well it all comes down to the gearing mechanism that I ended up implementing in the automatic gearbox. Uh, probably my mistake was to use that differential to subtract the speed using the differential to create the second gear. Uh, I've actually run an experiment to compare a simple gearbox with an implementation like this and that really demonstrated to me how much torque and power is lost in this particular gearing mechanism. And I'll show you that experiment next. So in order to test my theory that it's this differential configuration that's causing the issue, what I've done, I've mocked up a very similar setup. So again, we've got that differential. We've got our input here and our output there. And this differential, like I said, is set up in a very similar manner. And this gearing mechanism creates a 1 to 9 gearing ratio between the input and output. And I'm going to be comparing that to a very much more simple way of creating a 1 to 9, and that's to use two one to three gearing ratios in series and again that would generate that one to nine um, ratio between input and output and we're going to be comparing the performance of each of these setups in terms of torque and power okay so in this experimental setup what i've got is a number of rubber bands tied onto a pair of luggage scales those luggage scales then connect through that piece of string onto a pulley that winds it up and that pulley is driven by the gearing setup that we're testing. So in this case I'm testing the differential setup creating a 1 to 9 gearing ratio between the motor and the output of that gearing setup. We're going to see how much weight it can pull before it fails. So let's try that now. Let's turn it on. It starts winding up. You can see the luggage scales kick in. We are seeing 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 